Coming to you from the ReachMD studios, this is COVID-19 on the front lines. I'm Dr. Charles Turk. The following is a brief news summary of a recent story about significant racial disparities that have become all the more clear during the COVID-19 pandemic, as reported by NPR News. To find out how different racial and ethnic groups are impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, researchers analyze demographic data collected by the COVID-19 Racial Tracker, which is a tool that's part of a joint effort by the Anti-Racist Research and Policy Center and the COVID-19 Tracking Project. This analysis compared each race and ethnic group's share of infections or deaths, where race and ethnicity were recorded, anyway. A significant gap in the data shows 48% of cases and 9% of deaths have no information about race recorded, and researchers are concerned the missing information might hamper the U.S.'s pandemic response. Data is the only way that we can see the virus, says Thomas Leviste, dean of Tulane University's School of Public Health and Tropical Medicine and co-chair of Louisiana's COVID-19 Health Equity Task Force. However, what is clear is that communities of color are being disproportionately impacted by COVID-19. In 32 states, plus Washington, D.C., African Americans are dying at rates higher than their proportion of the population. In Wisconsin, for example, 27% of deaths have been in African Americans, and that's in a state where just 6% of the population is black. There may be a couple reasons for this pattern. African Americans have higher rates of underlying conditions like diabetes, heart disease, and lung disease that are linked to more severe cases of COVID-19. In addition, they often have less access to quality health care and are disproportionately represented in essential frontline jobs, which increases their exposure to the virus. At the same time, people in the Latinx community test positive for coronavirus at rates higher than would be expected relative to their share of the population in all but one of the 44 jurisdictions reporting Hispanic ethnicity. The analysis indicates that, like African Americans, Latinx individuals are overrepresented in essential jobs, which increases their exposure to the virus. While data for smaller minority communities are harder to come by, the information that we do have also highlights glaring disparities across Native American, Asian American, Hawaiian, and Pacific Islander communities. Christopher Petrella, Director of Engagement for the Anti-Racist Research and Policy Center at American University, says that the way states collect data are susceptible to undercounting in communities of color, and there's also variation in how states report cases. Concerns have also been raised about testing sites often being disproportionately located in whiter communities, creating gaps in access. Based on all these findings in aggregate, the analysis concluded that, given the pandemic's disproportionate toll on communities of color, the public health response should include basic needs support in those communities like providing food, wage supports, and even temporary housing for people who get sick or are exposed to the virus. For ReachMD, this is COVID-19 on the front lines. For more details on this news report, visit NPR.org. And as always, to add your perspectives on the fight against this global pandemic, visit us at ReachMD.com and become part of the knowledge. Thank you for listening.